And this morning in today's kitchen, three chefs are here to get you ready for the 4th of July weekend. We've got master chefs Jeff Henderson, the author of Chef Jeff Cooks. Thank you. Danielle Domofsky is a top-rated competitive barbecuer and known as DivaQ on the barbecue circuit. And Deke Tiley presides over the pit at Bub's Barbecue in Sunderland, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. Good morning, man. How are you, sir? I'm great. Man, you're still or woman, your stations. Get ready, and we're going to start with you, Jeff. You are yes, making sir. Cornish hens, and this is California style. Why is this California, California style? California style is big flavor, is very light, simpler approach to so the traditional southern type of barbecuing. All right, you yes. marinate these birds. What do you marinate them? A little the bit of, for how long? A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of fresh garlic. Uh, we have a little bit of jalapeno pepper here, and a little bit of parsley. You stir this up a little bit. We don't want it too heavy. We want it to be very, very light. Put that on there like that. We're going to paintbrush. How far in advance of cooking would you uh, do You know, that? you marinate these 24 hours in advance. Okay. Now, now Cornish hens are kind of little birds. I eat about seven of those. Yes. How many will these <laughs> feed? Well, it all depends how big appetite you have. Myself, I eat a whole one, but they're great for two people. All right. How do you keep yes. it juicy while you're barbecuing Well, I'm going to tell you one thing about Cornish hens. They're a lot more juicier than your average chicken. Very plump. And I'm going to give you an example right over here how juicy these are. Matt, look at here. Take this here. Look yeah. at that juice in there. Look at that. Okay, but you base them you. while you're cooking. Base them while you cook them a little bit. Uh, you bring the bird over like this. Set it on that hot side. Let it sizzle. Let it talk to you a little bit. As it finishes up, you put this very light maple barbecue sauce on there. All right, cool. So, so we're like going to have our judges taste your finished product, Jeff. Yes. As I move on to Danielle, okay? That'll Good work. luck to you. Thank all right? you. Hey, Danielle, how hey, you doing? Hey, Matt, how you doing? By the way, I'm fine. Congratulations. You won first prize over the weekend at a barbecue competition. I was at Boston Hills, New York. Um, and actually, I came back with another first place award with this. Congratulations. This yeah. is chicken lollipops? This is chicken lollipops. You know, I make real food for real people, real easy stuff. Uh, basically, it's just a little chicken drumette, and we're pushing all the meat down, and you end up with that. Right. Super and simple. You like layers. Layers of flavor. I love layers of flavor. So we have a combination of hot and sweet. So we have some chipotle rubs, some Smoky Mountain Smokers. Mm -hmm. Nice and spicy, gives it a lot of kick. And then we have a honey rub from Butcher's Barbecue. Okay. And we're going to be super, super generous with all of this rub because we want to build up on those flavors. And then literally all we do is we go to the grill with these. And okay. we start them off indirect. So half of my grill is on, half of my grill is off. And then all we do is we continuously base them with sriracha, hot sauce, and sweet baby rays, brown sugar, hickory honey. Okay, and so how long do these take lots. to cook? I do them low and slow, two hours, lots of fat, lots of flavor, and then they just get happy. It's getting us on a plate. All right, Danielle, the judges are now going to taste your chicken lollipops. Good luck to you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Deke, how are you? Matt, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fine. Now, we're moving on to a very different area here. We've had Cornish and chicken. We're going pulled pork now. This is, um, in the south, this is known as barbecue. You ask for barbecue, you're gonna get a great pulled pork sandwich. Um, we always start the pulled pork set or the pulled beef butt, barbecue pork butt with uh, the dry rub what first. What kind of dry rub do you use? Well, we make our own dry rub. It has um, herbs. There's um, a lot of sugar and paprika and different spices in there. Anybody doing this at home can use anything they like. Any rub, maybe even Diva's rub. Yeah, Danielle talked about cooking low and slow. You like to cook slow also. Absolutely. How long will this cook? This this will actually cook probably close to 10 hours. 10 yeah, hours? Yeah. And what kind of On a barbecue? Or can you do it in the oven too? You can do it in the oven. The trick of doing this in the oven at home is you want to raise it up out of the so the grease doesn't get too deep in the pan. Then cover it with plastic wrap with some um, aluminum foil over the top and then go real low and slow. All right, and Deke, you're serving this. You pull it, you put it on a bun, Absolutely. and you cover it with coleslaw. Yes, sir. What else do you put on there? What's this sauce? That's our um, my dad's recipe. It's been um, at Bub's now for 30 years, and he had that recipe back in 1952. All right, Deke, thank you. The judges are now trying your pulled pork. And are you guys ready to look at the trophy? That is a cool Ooh. trophy. You guys ready to make a decision? It's only good for two weeks. <laughs> Do you need to it's talk to the trophy after? Star. Do you need to talk this over? We kind of have been talking. You yeah. have? Yeah. They're hard because they're all delicious. Okay, yeah. we've got Jeff, Deke, and Danielle right here. Who wants to break the news? Uh, no, I don't want to break the news. I'm not a cam. I can't. Uh, wow, leave it to me. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have to say, yeah. Meredith, you like, you like the drumstick, right? I like the, the, I like the drumstick. Like I like the Cornish hand. So I'm going to have to, I guess, I like the pulled pork, but yes. I guess I'm going to go with the Cornish hen, too. Because Cornish hen. Yeah. Cornish hen. Yes. 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 Yes.
we'll go. We'll engrave it for you. There's a lot of responsibility that comes with this circle. Don't use your powers for your evil. Yes, exactly. Thank you much. Deke and Danielle, right. thank you both very much. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, guys. Recipes were great. We're going to have much more ahead on a Tuesday morning. But first, this is today on NBC. Way to go, Jeff. They were all good. It was, that was impossible. You know what? That was, that was impossible. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff.